Let's take a look at the event list search feature, which is found right here under the search button. When you click on this, this event pipeline is going to switch to a search panel. It's going to default to this view here where we've got the contact name and an event name, and then we can add additional search filters over here using this dropdown. What you're going to do over here is select a search filter that you want to use and then click the add button. You can see there are many search filters here that are available and you can use any combination of them that you want. There's about 20 different ones here and so the combinations are pretty much endless. You're also able to add a search parameter multiple times. So if you want to search by say multiple names, you'll go here, click the contact name, add this search filter again and you can see it gives us the option to search by a name we enter here or a name that's entered there. So for example, let's put in Samantha or Sarah and then to execute the search you're just going to click the search button right there. It will narrow the event list down for us and then if you want to execute a different search you just click clear and start over. I mentioned a moment ago that this will default to show certain fields when you first open the search. You're able to amend the default by setting up all your search filters that you want here and then going to the menu and clicking save default. That's going to set you up with a new default so that every time you switch over to this search panel it'll have the same fields to use. If you have a search that you find that you're doing over and over again to say generate a report, you can save that search and load it up anytime you want. We're going to go through an example of a report that you could save that you may need to generate on say a monthly or quarterly basis. For this example, we're going to look at events that happen within a certain date range, and then we're going to save our search so that it always includes those date range filters. Let's go over to the Add Search Filter option over here. We're going to look for an event after a certain date and before a different date. For this example, let's go ahead and look at all of our events that are going to happen in September. So it'll show us all the events that happen in that range. Go ahead and click Search. Now if we want to save this search, we're going to go back over here to the menu and click Save Search. When you save a search, you should give it a name here. If you want to save it with the values, you check this box. Saving it with the values will, for example, save these dates that we entered when we executed this search the first time. That may not be applicable to this example, but there may be instances where that's valuable. Additionally, you can choose to share this search with your team. So, saved searches are saved by user. So if I save this without checking the box, it will only show up for me even though there are other users on my account. If I want this to show up for every user on the account, I'm going to check this box here. And then anytime we want, we can go over here to the menu, click Load Search, and select one of the saved searches that we've done before. Using this advanced search tool here on the event list is a really great way for you to generate custom reports. Use any combination of these search filters to pull any combination of events here from your list and then export that list to generate an Excel compatible document that you can use for your records. Remember though that that export will only include columns that are included in your view here on the event list. If you're not sure how to set those, go to your settings and set the columns you want to visible. Another thing you can do here is also set your default view on the event list to either be the event pipeline or the search panel that we were looking at. When you're done, just make sure you click save. So that is how you search the event list, generate custom reports, and save those search and or report templates.